Hi, this is Winnie Anderson. I'm here with Dr. Patricia Rapici, a physical therapist currently practicing in Woodbine, New Jersey. And I've been grilling her about all things physical therapy and how we can fight aging and remain mobile and vital as we age. So, Trish, what I'd like to really pick your brain about is just how do you develop a treatment plan? What's your treatment strategy? Well, my treatment strategy is a little bit different than average. Um, the current theme in medicine today is quote unquote uh, standardized protocols uh, promote efficiency of care. And what that means actually is that for each diagnosis or condition, there's a list of uh, expected things to use and expected exercises to use that you know you, you push a software button and out pops the exercise routine for, say, a herniated disc. And I've not found that that works for people because people are all put together differently. Mechanically, their parts are different. Uh, there are people that are, you know, double-jointed or very tight. Uh, there are people whose postures include, you know, a big curve in their back versus the flat back. They have different pain experiences, they have different pain tolerances, they have different capabilities as to what they can do and also what they want to do. They um, can't all uh, progress at the same rate and as quickly. And so all those things you know, need to be taken into account when you develop the program. So it's not that I don't use what is the research suggestion for effective care, but I research on my own time all the possible solutions and variations that there are out there, and I end up cutting and pasting different things uh, for different patients into a program that is never you know, generic. It's very customized and very individual to the patient. I do like to use in the beginning a lot of hands-on therapy um, because often that's what the patient needs and then I also like to make sure that the patient learns what they need to learn to become self-reliant and independent and able to take care of their condition themselves and not be reliant on me to come back for you know lots and lots of visits. Great, and, and I can certainly attest to the cutting and pasting. I have several pages of literally diagrams, images of how to do the particular exercises or stretches. I mean, each exercise has about 5 to 10 to 15 variations. Mm -hmm. okay. And you can give an exercise to a person for a, a particular problem and have it A, not work at all because of their mechanics, B, make them feel worse, or C, do nothing. So right. it is very individual. Yeah, it does need to be specific. customized, mm -hmm. right? Because you think that this stretch looks good, mm -hmm. but then the person, everything, the devil's in the details, right? Every time the person then does it, right. no, that's not effective. So then is the, uh, the modification. Right. Modification, yeah. Because right. often I will make up a program that I think is going to work, and you know, there's a problem here and there. Well, that doesn't mean here's your program. Good luck with it. We, you know, we work on it, and I'll find the solution and modify it. Right. And again, with that key to self-reliance, independence is really what you're working right. for for the patient, yeah. so that they can sustain their wellness. Right. Great. That's super information. So if you would like to get additional information that Trish has prepared for you, a video and some additional information, you want to go to RestoreMobilityNow.com and access that today. Thanks.